the try-in step is a very important step to, uh, that allows you to evaluate your denture while it is still in wax so that any necessary adjustments can be corrected easily. First, you have to check your case on the articulator. You can check first the articulator itself, then the casts, the trial denture basis, and the artificial uh, teeth. Regarding the articulator, you have to check the uh, uh, tightening screws. It has to be uh, firmly tightened. The mounting rings should be in its proper position and correctly screwed. The incisor pin should be in its correct position and the uh, trial denture basis in its proper position. The cast should be free from any waxes and from any scratches and for, uh, any undercuts should be blocked. Also, the trial denture basis should be free from any waxes from any scratches, it should have also rounded edges, any sharp edges should be, shouldn't be present. The artificial teeth should be checked to be of the properly selected shade, size and uh, shape and uh, should, there shouldn't be any contact between the upper and lower anterior teeth unless uh, an, an edge to edge uh, uh, contact is selected. Maximum intercuspation should be present between the posterior teeth as well. After that, regarding the lower arch, the central groove should be on the crest of the lower ridge to uh, ensure stability of the lower denture and the lower posterior teeth shouldn't be inclined lingually unless uh, it will, otherwise it will encroach on the tongue space which may uh, endanger the stability of the lower denture. Regarding the upper arch, the midline of the dental arch should coincide with the line drawn from the median palatine suture, the incisive papilla and the labial frenum. Also, the labial surface of the central incisors should be um, 8 to 10 millimeter from the center of the incisive papilla. Thank you. Then you have to check the case inside the patient mouth. You have to check the upper trial denture base alone and the lower alone. Then you have to check both with each other. Regarding the upper trial denture base, I have to check the extension, retention, and stability first. The extension, the, all the extensions of the trial denture base should be reaching the functional depth and width of the vestibule, anteriorly and posteriorly. If the extension is not, if the upper trial denture base is underextended in the patient mouth, and it is already in its proper length on the cast as already checked, then the secondary impression has to be repeated. After checking the extension, unfortunately the retention cannot be accurately checked during the try-in stage as it's not the final touch. Regarding the stability, alternate pressure can be applied on the premolar molar area Alternate pressure can be applied on the premolar molar area. We can check the anterior retention by applying and uh, pull force anteriorly. We can check the posterior retention by applying an upward force on the palatal surface of the anterior teeth. And you can check this side retention by applying a an alternate pressure is applied on the premolar molar area to check the stability of the upper trial denture base. And insufficient relief of the medial palatine bracket, then uh, the denture, the trial denture will rock. It also can indicate that the upper uh, posterior teeth on one side are outside the ridge. If applying a pressure on this side can 
cause this side to rise from the basal seat. After that, the occlusal plane should be checked. Regarding the lower trial denture base, also the extension and retention and the stability should be checked also as the upper trial denture base. Then the occlusal plane should be checked to be below the maximum convexity of the tongue and below two thirds the retromolar pad. To check this, ask your patient to relax his tongue be behind the lingual surface of the lower anterior teeth. هيك رايح لسانك رايح لسانك وخليه يبقى لامس الطقم من هنا The lower occlusal plane should be above should be below the maximum convexity of the tongue Also the lower posterior teeth shouldn't encroach on the tongue space To test this you have to ask your patient to raise his tongue slowly هيك كيف ابتدي ارفع لسانك براحة ارفع لسانك براحة كمان شوية كمان شوية كمان ارفع براحة if the, the posterior teeth are encroaching on the tongue space this will cause your denture to raise from its place The, the box trial denture bases should be checked together. We ha you have to check three things. The vertical relation, the centrical relation, the centrical relation and the even bearing. Regarding the vertical relation, you should ask your patient first to say M. mean keda The patient lips should uh, touch um, lightly when he says if M. He should have a normal appearance he, with, uh, without a stretched tight appearance or the senile appearance. You can check your, the vertical dimension with any of the techniques used or the methods used during the, centric, uh, the measuring of uh, the vertical dimension of centric occluding relation. Uh, you can uh, measure the vertical dimension of rest. First, remove the lower trial denture base and measure the vertical dimension of rest, and then uh, um, remove um, uh, remove two millimeter of the film way space, and then put the lower trial denture base to measure the vertical dimension of occlusion. If it's correct, then uh, the vertical relation is uh, ideal. First, we have to check the vertical relation after uh, putting the uh, two trial denture bases uh, together. Uh, they can be checked using the, uh, aesthetic, uh, the aesthetics of the patient. He has to have the uh, normal appearance without the uh, stretched tight appearance or the uh, senile appearance. Uh, also, uh, it can be uh, measured using any of the methods used for measuring the vertical dimension of the centric occluding relation. Um, by removing the lower trial denture base, the vertical dimension of reste can be measured by marking two points. Then you can put the lower trial denture base to measure the vertical dimension of occlusion, which should be less two millimeter than the vertical dimension of rest Uh, which, uh, uh, which equals to the freeway space.
which means that when the patient is in the physiological rest position, there must be two millimeter between the uh, uh, posterior teeth. After that, we have to check the centric relation of the patient. Hi, The centric relation should coincide with the centric occlusion of the patient. If incorrect centric relation, if it is minor, it can be corrected. If it is major, the lower posterior teeth should be removed and rebite uh, should be taken again and uh, remounting and another try-in should be made. After checking the centric relation, An even bearing, even bearing should be checked. There are uh, four methods to check the even bearing. There are four methods to check the uneven bearing. First, you can use celluloid strap, which can be placed at the same time between uh, on each side of the dental arches. And equal pulling forces means equal occlusal pressure. Another method is uh, to uh, ask the patient to close in the centric hypothetic audit and then try to uh, push the upper denture using your thumb and the lower denture using your index finger to the lower. To, uh, pushing it down. Uh, if no separation occurs, then uh, there is an equal occlusal pressure. Another method is to ask your patient to open his mouth and then to close to the first contact. You have to check uh, to notice uh, if the first contact happened at the same time or not and to check if the, uh, ar uh, ar if the, if the denture, the trial denture rises from its basal seat while clothing or not. The last thing to do is to check the aesthetics and phonetics. Uh, during the pronunciation of the S sound, you can check the closest speaking space. You can check the horizontal overjet. If the patient uh, says uh, TH instead of S, this uh, means that uh, uh, there is insufficient horizontal overlap or the upper anterior, uh, the upper palatal portion is too thick. This has to be corrected. Also, if there is whistling during the pronunciation of the S sound, this means that there is uh, uh, increased horizontal overjet, which should be corrected also. Uh, we can also check the letter F. During the pronunciation of the F, the uh, inside the edges should touch the dry and the moist surface of the lower lip. After that, we can check the aesthetics of the patient. The vermilion border should be visible. The nasolabial sulcus should be not distorted. The philtrum also should be not distorted. The corners of the mouth should be also supported. The smile line. The fourth method to check the uh, even bearing is to insert a knife at the premolar mol molar area where the patient is biting in the centric occlusion. If the knife can be inserted, this indicates a gross discrepancy in the, the uh, occlusal uh, pressure, uh, and at this time, the centric relation has to be repeated. After that, ask your patient to smile like Ibtesan. The shape and shade and size of your teeth should be checked. Regarding the shade, it should be um, uh, to 
conform with the patient uh, age for old age we can uh, choose darker uh, teeth it should also conform with the, the uh, shade of the skin and uh, the eye and the hair as well uh, the size of the teeth, the mesolabial aspect of the canine should be visible from the front aspect of your patient and the tip of the canine I can, um, I can, of, uh, the tip of the canine should be with the corners of uh, the mouth. The shape of the teeth should also conform with the shape of the patient. If your patient has a rounded face, you have to choose rounded teeth. If he has long, narrow face, you can choose long, narrow teeth.